I have to say this, you all are not brands. You all are not brands. You are not a brand. You are not a corporation, right? You are a human being. You are not meant to monetize every part of your soul and deliver every part of your soul for content. For you, right? you know I'm saying? We say that you'll never get the education you need to overthrow this system from school, right? And so we got young people and we're teaching them how to be civically engaged. We're teaching them about what it means to, to stand up. We got somebody holding up the book right here. Um, we, we, we're teaching them uh, that, that the only way that they're going to be able to thrive in this society is if they take life by their, by their reins and don't take no for an answer. And that's something that we've always learned. We also believe in organization. Um, black Enterprise is an organization. It's more than a publication, right? Uh, they understood that they had a, a, a magazine first, right? but that they needed a whole wealth of other, uh, other things to build an infrastructure, right? To build something for our community that lasts way longer than our time on this earth. And so our organization is about just that, building organization. That it is not individuals, as this United States teaches us in this story, right? That one man out of nowhere picked himself up from his bootstraps and made everything happen, right? This is a fictitious story that we're told from a very young, from a very young age. It is only through, it is only through my community that I'm here. That's okay, right. it's only because people on my block said, "Listen, you're going this way," right? Right. It's only because uh, people in my community, in my churches, and my community centers, and my music school said, "I don't care about all that stuff you're talking. You're getting out of here." Amplifier to what we have done, but every day our organization is knocking on doors. We talking to people. I'm annoying people who are like, why are you talking to me? I'm like, because you're a human and we stand there like close to each other. And that's what we do. We talk to each other. And so um, with respect, I try my best to always engage people. And that's what building an organization of real people does. It talks to people. And that's what social media helped us to amplify the real work we were doing on the ground. At a point now where there, everything is being automated, right? There are no, 50 years ago, there were industrial jobs, right? There were manufacturing jobs. And I'm not here to rail about the fact that we need to go back to building cars ourselves, though that would be great, um, or building things ourselves, though that would be great. But what I do want to say is that we cannot get into a place where we've replaced um, the protection of being a worker, the uh, value of organizing with other people up against corporations in lieu of us selling our rooms, selling our cars, selling our work on tack apps like Tackle, etc. That's not actually the world that we want to live in. And so as future framers of technology, as the framers of reality and virtual reality, you all must understand that, I feel like I sound like one of them dudes in them old movies. Yeah. The, there must, there must be a balance between uh, the human intuition and empathy and technology. I'll just go back to what I said before. I think it is the responsibility of people um, and organizations to move people from, offline, from online to offline engagement. Um, it is easy. There's some, it's, it's called the pleasure principle. If, if I found that I can do something very, very easily and I can receive pleasure from it in a variety of different ways, it's very hard to push me into some other level of engagement. And we've got to become better at pushing people to doing things in the real world, right? Social media is an incredible forum, as I said, to amplify. But I would say it's up to organizations like myself. I take it upon myself. I, I went a whole six months, a year, telling people social media going to kill you. Why are you doing this? Right, right, right. Um, but the fact of the matter is it is here. Uh, for the foreseeable future, it's not going anywhere, and it is, in fact, becoming a more essential part of our lives. And so it is up to people like yourself and other people who actually care about what's going on in the real world um, to, uh, to move those people and give people opportunities for, for that transfer of activity from, off, from online to offline. That, that's the simplest way I would say it. We live, in a, we live in a society that thrives off of capitalism, right? And I'm not going to get too far into that. You can talk to me at the bar later about that. <laughs> right?